general? Or ask what about the rivalry and what do you remember about the last game? How okay. crazy it was. A lot about no, defense. I, I, heard, about defense. I heard Trey say something. So I don't know what he's Oh, we asked him about how to get the matchup and what he thought was going to be. Okay. So. No, I was just going to say we were off yesterday. Yeah. And our first film session is going to be right after this, so they haven't <laughs> They haven't gone. We haven't gone over anything with them yet. So they, I mean, Devontae knows, but try to. <laughs> start with just a general question about Connecticut. You played Syracuse already. Is this like a another stroll down memory lane for you? What do you know? What's special about the Connecticut Georgetown rivalry? Um, another stroll down memory lane. Don't forget your uh, your shoes. Just when you finish, you finish your shoelace on time. Um, yeah, like we have history, and you know, as you put together. I think most years I've been happy with how I put together an out-of-conference schedule. <laughs> this year I probably wish we could do it all over again. Um, but that being said, you know, if, you, if you're looking for uh, a team you know, that, that there is history with, that you're familiar with, that there's, um, you know, you want to use the word rivalry, um, you know, where your fans understand, their fans, our fans, this game makes sense. And so, um, it, it made sense. It makes sense. You made a comment in your post game interview with Bill Raftery about uh, Tyler Perot the day that you were going to see him in that spot after the game. Uh, what made you feel confident about the uh, about that? I was game hoping game that would just slide. <laughs> 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 I was hoping he wouldn't bring it up. <laughs> um, I, I just, you know, I'm not trying to be Muhammad Ali or anything, but, um, but I just felt that we were going to win. So don't ask me on a go forward basis how I'm feeling. Uh, but I, I, I felt pretty good going into the season. With regards to the offense, obviously that was a, a good performance overall and uh, Trey made shots and so on. But what was it? I think you also said in that same interview something to the effect of the offense had not been as fluid as you had hoped up till that point. What was it about that game beyond the shots that was working? Were you surprised that it has maybe taken as long to get to this point? Well, and I hope we're at this point. Um, you know, we, 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 we moved fast. Uh, you know, there's been times this year where it felt like we're, we're stuck in the mud and we're not moving. The ball's not swinging. We're not pushing the ball. And I think in that game, we had fast ball movement and fast body movement, which we've been trying to get them to do all year. And so I, I don't know whether it's a case of, you know, we're slowly getting to the point where they aren't thinking, they're just playing so they can now move faster. Um, but I just think the ball moved fast in that game. Um, and when that happens with the players that we have, it's hard to guard. Speaking of fast body movement, <coughs> UConn kind of puts four guys out that can spread you, drive, shoot, attack. How important is communication when facing those guys? It's, it's, it's paramount. And, and communication for us, um, you know, it's been something that we have to get better at communication and anticipation. Um, but you're right, they, they have, you know, they can space you out, uh, they can take you off the bounce as well as they can shoot. You know. in, 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 in Hartford, uh, in Connecticut, you know, they play with a lot more energy uh, and they're a different team. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to, which we did a good job for most stretches, whatever that is, what was it, Xavier? What day is today? Uh, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, you know, but we have to be in sync defensively because you know, we can't leave our teammates on an island, but at the same time, we can't totally. The only teams, and I said this about several teams we played this year, you know, all the focus can't be on, let's stop Ron, because these other four guys uh, can hurt you also. How do you, how do you take advantage of or take, take out of the game this Hamilton guy? I mean, they run everything for him, but he passes, he scores, he, he rebounds, he, he, he shoots, he, uh, he finishes. Yeah, you know, I think it's one of those things. I, I don't know that you can take him out of the game uh, just because of how much he, he is a part of their offense, you know, how he initiates a lot of it, uh, to tell you the truth. But like I said, he's, he's not just scoring. Um, and one of the, you know, I watched all their games. One of the games 